Hey guys, we hope you guys are all doing well. We are here to bring you guys some worship and a devotional.
Hey guys, what's up? We're back here with another devotional. Um, I want you guys to know that these devotionals, they're meant to get you to think, to, to really start considering some of the things that we're talking about. You know, right now we're still in this situation of having to be at home. And because of that, life is, is different. And I know that you guys are still anxious to get out and do things and be able to, to go and meet up with friends and everything. But, you know, every day that we have is valuable and every day that we have has the ability to be used. And so in the book of Matthew, in chapter 7, verse 13, this is a passage where Jesus is talking to his disciples and it's very often quoted. And it says that enter by the narrow gate for wide is the gate and broad is the way that leads to destruction. And there are many who go in by it. Because narrow is the gate and difficult is the way which leads to life. And there are few who find it. And when Jesus was talking to his disciples, he was letting them know that the reality is that the life that, or the road that leads, leads to life, it is one that most will not follow because of the difficulty of it. Not to say that it's too difficult or that it's impossible, but that it's a road that is going to cost you something. You know, everything in your life, when you're, when you're planning for the future, when you're planning, what do I do with my life or what, what has God called me to, what's going to happen when I graduate, what am I going to do, all of these decisions that you're thinking of. You know, the life that God has for you isn't a life of ease and comfort, but it is a life that is worth pursuing and it's worth living. It doesn't mean that it's going to be easy, but it does mean that there is a reward for it because in it, life is found. Now, Jesus was talking about salvation, and which is important. Don't get me wrong. He's talking about the, the gate that is narrow, the one that leads to life is narrow and difficult. But he's also talking about the life, not just after not just the eternal life, but the life that you have right now because you guys are alive and you have life right now and it's not like you get saved and you just wait until you do whatever you want until you, you die and then when you get into heaven, that heaven, that's when life really happens. The reality is that you have a life right now and when you get saved, your life is now changed and you still have to live life. The difference is that you're living life now for Christ and it's Christ that lives in you and that life is rewarding in every way, in every, every sense, you know, life has its difficulties and it's going to hurt, but God is going to be there to comfort you and to guide you through your suffering and through your hard times and through those moments when you want to quit and when you want to give up, God will be there. Just know that always, but it is going to be difficult that difficult. And you know, while you're sitting at home, just take that into consideration that what is the life that God has for me? And start counting the cost. Start preparing yourself that whatever that looks like, that you're willing to go after it. Whatever the life that God has for you, be willing to go after that. And so these are something. this is something that you guys can take and, and ponder through the week and, and consider it. Journal, write down some things, you know, spend some time with Jesus. Like I always say, spend some time in your word, be praying every day and, and, and see what God will do. So you guys take care. God bless, and we'll see you later. Hey, guys, quick reminder. If you guys want to get in contact with us and if you guys want to be a part of the videos that we're doing, just drop a comment or let us know. Call us at the church. Uh, get a hold of us. Contact Isaac, Jada, or, or Samadia, and, and let us know. Um, take care.